Hi everyone. So uh, I have a quick question from Jayman Josh. He's a member here at Animation West Africa Foundation. His question is, how can I transfer my FBX to Maya? How can I blend FBX and Maya rigs together? Like he has an FBX file and he wants to put, he wants to bring it directly into Maya and make use of Maya to animate the file. So I went over to Mixamo and I downloaded a couple of fbx files which i'm going to use one of them to show you how okay i'm going to load up the looking around fbx file which i downloaded from mixamo mixamo is a site where you can get free stuff animations and stuff like that and so if i drag this right in and it loads you found that you find out that this is um malcolm I mean, anyone that has been in Nixamo would know this is Malcolm. Okay, so this is Malcolm, and this is Malcolm with his textures. Although I think we need to fix a couple of things there. And okay, so we're going to go over to our rigging tab and click on the HKIK. And the HKIK is basically here. I mean, if you don't have it here, yeah, maybe by any chance you take it out, you can always click on this and you can find it here. There are other places you can find this. You can come through and go to Rigging and you can go over to Controls and create Control Rig Human IK. You can sit there. So, how do we make this ready for use in Maya? The first things you need to do, first of all, is you need to make this uh, kind of transparent, which is X-ray. So you can click on this button to make it X-ray, or you can simply jump into wireframe by tapping 4 on your keyboard, and you can simply see it here. Another way you can make this uh, work out for you is, just in case you just don't want to see any of the meshes, you can switch back by tapping 5 and click on Show, and select Polygons, and all you have is this but since we're not going that route the best thing we need to do is uh, click on this and turn on the x-ray so i'm going to click on create character definition and double click here that says the head and start defining this character so i'm going to click on this part to define the head i'm going to double click here as well to define here i'm going to double click here to define here I'm going to do that here as well to define this part. I'm going to double click to do to define that part. I'm going to double click here as well to define this part. Double click here as well to define this part. We can go in and start defining these other parts, which I'm not really going to do right now. And for uh, this other part, uh, we can just simply double click here. And I can define this as one. You can you can also go right inside here and, and do the remaining. You can come down here and define the neck and come back out. And also we can do the same for the hands as well. We can still come through and define all of this. But for this sake, we're just going to uh, go around. So I can also decide to uh, get a point where I want my reference to be. These mostly can be a, a node, it can be a null as well, it can just be a circle which you want to attach this to. I can double click this and make this my reference point and it's going to ask me this same question and I can say yes, that means I'm using this. Yeah. So the best the best practice is you have you have uh what is it called? You, you have a null which you can uh, parent this to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tiny null here. I'm going to tap on R and turn this open. And I'm going to parent this to the, I'm going to parent this to that. I'm going to select this, select this and tap P. And now I have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and select this. Now I have this. So whatever I do to this, it happens to this other one. So this is more like the universal control right now. Okay, so since I have this, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to control rig. And there you go. 
when you have this control regret you can see my automatically puts the controls for you now we can go in and turn off this if we don't need that anymore you can still turn it back on and if we want to hide the bones we can come here and turn off the joints and we can't see those joints anymore and also you can still show the joints and if you don't want to select them at any point during your walking you can come down here come up here I mean and select this so you notice that I cannot select the joints anymore okay so and every other thing you want from an I uh, from a rig is basically built into the HIK rig so let me turn off this so that I, I wouldn't mistakenly select this anymore so I can now select this and position this where I want want it to be see so I have a full body control working here if you check here you find out that I have a full body control working here I can turn that off and just put a path uh, like a half body control so it just works here so if I select this part and pin the translation and the rotation you will notice that when I click on this other uh, if I click on this constraint which is at the elbow uh, the controller there I can I can get this to happen at the same time I can click on this and position this uh, properly like where I want it to be and also have this happen at the same time okay the same thing goes for the neck as well so you can decide to you can decide to uh, pin a particular part during your animation uh, or maybe during your posing and also unpin them during I mean once you're done with whatever you're doing so you can decide to also go for full body part or you can just go within a particular part of the body so full body what happens in full body is when you select the full body you can do everything uh, the whole IK system is working for the full body if you select the part you can also notice that uh, just the, the part which you selected is going to work okay and also uh, Jman Josh was also asking what other things comes in when you import an FBX yes what comes in when you import an FBX the material comes in as well the blend shapes comes in so if we look at this mixamo file and go through you get to see that we have a, a couple of blend shapes here the blend shape comes in the bones like you've seen comes in and funny enough the motion also comes in so I'm going to uh, I'll go back and press the play and based on where we post uh, the, I mean based on how we post this character you can see so if I quickly do a couple of control Z if I do a couple of control Z we will see exactly so i'm going to turn this off again i'm going to turn off this and i'm going to position this somewhere here let me actually create something like this so we can have a good look at our character okay so already uh 2018 by default runs on this so i'm just going to cast a little bit of this and that there and let's see okay so this is the animation that happens and if you want to bake this particular animation you can go ahead and bake it you can also bake your animations here into skeleton or into body parts depending on what you want to do one other question he was asking was how do how do we select keyframes? So how you select keyframe? You can use the Mac selection. You can hold down Shift and do this, and you can select all of this. Other things I said is you can uh, also come through and go to the window, and you can come down to animation, and you can sorry, you can come down to animation. You can select your graph editor. You can select a particular part of what you want, and you can use the Mac selection to select it as well so these are the questions which you asked and this is how you can go about them if you have questions about this you can drop a comment or just post it here on the facebook group cheers